Uh, radio and media in and TV, uh, YouTube, podcast is a, a, uh, a big passion of mine. Oh, What's going on team? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. On today's vlog, that was Mara. Our house has been absolutely crazy lately. Yeah, crazy. Three kids, under three years old. You can imagine what's been happening. So today's vlog, I'm heading to North Sydney to go on the radio, calling the... Yeah, that's Mara. She's just had her lunch. We're calling the West Tigers versus Newcastle game. All right, I'm in a little bit of a rush because I've just been mowing the lawns. Have a go on it, look magnificent. And in a bit of a rush, lunch on the way. My lovely wife has made a snack pack for me. I'm not gonna show her because she's under the pump. Why? She's under the pump with a newborn at the moment. <laughs> She'd kill me. <laughs> All right, time to drive from North Sydney to the studio. Let's get it. Team, so we just rocked in at North Sydney. Took me uh, just under an hour to get here, so not too bad for a Sunday. It is the Sunday, the day after our game against Parramatta last night. Wow, man, we played 50 minutes with no subs, so we only had 13 fit players left. We had front rowers defending in the, in the centers, in the back row. Yeah, we went down against a pretty solid Parramatta team, but. You'll learn from it on to the next. Very proud of the boys though. Very tough defensive effort for us. Front rowers playing 80 minutes, man. Props to those lads. They absolutely smashed it. All right, let's go and find this building and get inside. All right, my backpack. Let's go. Don't usually come to North Sydney that often, to be honest. Lock up the Mazda. Hey, mate. I think I'm out the front of the parking entrance. Yep, when you go somewhere for the first time, don't really know where I'm going, but... All right, team, guess what? Just got into the studio in here with the A-team today. Jimmy Smith, the man. Hey. And Brett Kamali. Yes. ex Sharks hey, half, the GOAT. Me and Jimmy have actually worked together before, haven't we, Jimmy? Remember we yeah, called, grand, just a grand final of Just the grand final of 2020. Of yeah, yeah, so. I'm here with two premiership winning halfbacks. <laughs> and me. <laughs> so, our game's actually playing like on the TV at the moment from last night. But yeah, we're just going through a bit of notes and getting ready for the call this afternoon. West Tigers versus Knights. Jimmy, I need a prediction. Oh, just before that, no interchanges will be used yeah. on the SEN League team today. I <laughs> just said, yes. you know, no interchanges. Uh, you know what? I reckon, I reckon the Tigers can give the Knights an absolute scare today. I'm going right. to tip the Tigers. All right, Noddy, give me a tip, please, mate. I will do everything I can to disagree with Jimmy Smith <laughs> and in the call as well. So I think the Newcastle Knights will win. Uh, I think it'll be a close game, but Newcastle for victory. All right, so Noddy's gone Knights. Jimmy's gone Tigers, and I am going to go Knights. I think Knights in Pierce's 300s game. I think it's going to be a tough one for the Tigers, so I'm going to go Knights as well. Manu, Manu and Walker feels better to me than Walker and Lamb, just because of that experience thing. Oh, jo jo yeah. Very different player, Joey Manu, but he's a ball, he'd be a ball runner. Well, you see, you see last year when they rested Tedesco and Joey Manu went to fullback, and yeah. he looked like a natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. if, you, if you chuck right. Joey Manu in another NRL team and say, mate, you're going to be our fullback for the year, I, I've got no doubt Joey Manu kills it all year. Mm. Well, Joey Manu played one game, maybe two games at fullback, went for 301 metres in one game. In okay, incredible. So in he's incredible. Got motor to do it. Too. And, I, and I wonder if he does he train like that? Does he train at fullback during the during the, the off season and pre season? Does Trent Robinson go through scenarios where Tedesco's unavailable, puts Joey Manu at the back? Is that, you know, 
I reckon that, he probably would. I think absolutely. He'd cover all bases. All right, team, so just been preparing all the notes here, and then we're about to head into the studio in here. So let's get it. You know what it's like, one man. One man gang. One man gang. You talk rubbish. You got around there? Yeah. You take time off next week. No, the week after. Oh, this Oh, no, yeah, I mean... All right, so this is the setup in the studio. Show you around. To find out more, search business. Monitors and watch the game. Here. What's the right spirit to have? Headset. Joe Gibbs was a winner. He was a football coach. Production. Very good. This is where the magic happens, eh? He's looking at that board. There would have been a day where that oil would have been like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> at the moment it's working, so we're happy. <laughs> well, Warren, but... wow. the, the good news at um, South Sydney. Show us for Beaumont tiles. Choose Beaumont tiles for 28% off floor tiles. Not 26, Brett. Not 27. 28% off floor tiles. That's Beaumont's for you. My name's Jimmy Smith. Joining me in commentary, our car sales experts. It's Brett Noddy Kamali and Chad Townsend. Hasn't got a. A nickname that I could, what could it be? Chad Townie Townsend. What where yeah, do we go with it? I get Towno, yeah. Townie, Chaddy. Uh, they're probably the most common three. I okay, really have one. There we go. Yeah. Something to work on. Yeah. Anyway, for the yeah, Cronulla I mean, Sharks. What, I actually get. I get T Dog. <laughs> yeah. T Dog. T -Dog yeah. yeah. Okay. We can run with two. Chad T Dog Townsend yeah. is in the house. <laughs> go to the Premiership winner from the Cronulla Sharks. First ever halfback to win a Premiership for for the Cronulla Sharks. Let's introduce him, Jimmy. Let's give him first right to. To well, welcome everyone today. Well, first first of all, I'm going to say welcome to you, Chad. Uh, is this your first time calling on a Sunday afternoon on SEN League? It is. My first time on SEN on a Sunday, actually. Yeah. Um, last year, I was lucky enough to call the NRL Grand Final with yourself, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, we had an absolute ball. But today, look, yeah, look, uh, radio and media in, and TV, uh, YouTube, podcasts is a, a, uh, a big passion of mine and something I, I try to get into uh, in my spare time and something I love to fall into post-football. So, um, you know, try and uh, you know, do as much as I can uh, throughout my NRL career and then have a bit of fun along the way as well. Congratulations to him, Mitchell Pearce, playing his 300th game. Alright team, so it's half time at the moment of the game. Just going to duck out and grab a snack. But really enjoying the call at the moment, so back on for the second half. Right, so now they come left hand side, man. Just got to run around the back and Tex always put it down. All right, team, that's it. All done. Excellent call, had a really good time. Yeah, had a sick time. Knights end up losing, so the Tigers won the game. It was a lot of fun calling the game. Now I'm gonna head home because it's 20 past six now in at North Sydney, and gonna go home and have some dinner. Alright, time to head home now. Gonna go home, have some dinner, and then probably watch Ozark. I've been watching Ozark lately on Netflix. Actually, really, really good TV series, so. Let's get it. Good morning, team. It is the day after the call last night, and this morning we have our recovery day for training. So, got my training kit on it's a light recovery day today for us stretching rolling going down to the beach for a swim physio and then video review i really hope you enjoyed today's episode of the vlog going in and doing radio tv media is something that i really do enjoy so i'm trying to do a little bit while i'm still playing so hopefully then by the time i exit the game i have a few options to do post football so Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy these vlogs. It really, really is much appreciated. It shows me that you like these vlogs. And guess what? We'll see you guys on the next episode. Whew.